Hi, this video is the Art of Hair Transplant Restoration Surgery Result. I mean, not result, it's a hair transplant on a uh, well, a recreation of the black uh, African American hairline. Um, this guy had a tattoo, got micropigmentation tattoo done in the past, and, and you can see the, the color. Um, it darkened the skin, and it looks good in photo, but in real life, it's, it's more people can detect it, and you probably don't want that. It looks very artificial, and through the years, it faded. And so, uh, the good thing is they did the, uh, the, the micropigmentation tattoo high, uh, so that way we can lower the hairline and hide it. And you see how his normal skin color is this, and then there's the dark hair. And that's not something you want to do. Um, um, but the best way to do is do a hair transplant. And for this client, we're going to do the FUE. FUE, as you know, is the most advanced technology available and the least invasive of the two when you compare the strip. And for African American, um, you don't want a strip method or the linear scar running from one ear to another ear. Because it's very visible if you leave your hair short. But you leave your hair long, you can hide it. I, I do both FUE and the strip. Um, but the FUE has minimal scar, a tiny dots of scar scattered throughout the back like a mosaic pattern, allow you to wear your hair shorter without regret, without people having asking you, or not much detectability. Now, with the FUE, if you shave with a razor blade, they can see it, but you shave it to a one or two, um, some, they're not going to see it. And sometimes it with a zero on the clipper. Um, anyway, um, for this client, um, because of micropigmentation, um, we have to lower the hairline to recreate the hairline. That's perfect for him. Uh, we'll be uh, opting for at least 2,000 or up to 2,500 grams if we need be to fill in as much as we could. I'm very excited for, the, uh, for this client because he's a very handsome guy. Uh, just his hairline has gone up. So once we recreate the hairline and bring it in, it really drastically changed your look. Um, you know, the temple... Uh, for a black African American men, it is way more important uh, for African American men than compared to Asian and Caucasian because the temple really frames the face better. And you can see, you can turn, we brought in at least an inch and a half from here on this side and on this side as well. And so, uh, from the mid eyebrow to the hairline, it's probably six and a half to seven centimeter. From the midpoint to the side, average around seven to eight and a half centimeter and for this client we end up did around seven and a half and it will fit his face more better and again we can always do a little bit wider and then make it around eight centimeter too whatever works for you and uh, once we get the shape down um, we zigzag it's smaller in amplitude and zigzag compared to Asian and Caucasian where they have bigger in amplitude why? Because most black men like to line the hairline up straight anyway. So you do such a big zigzag, then the hairline is going to be a lot higher. So you want a small zigzag. And then the precise angle is very important. It's flat against the skin. It's around 15 degrees starting out and uh, changes when you go in a different direction. For other ethnic, like Asian and Caucasian, Asian is around 35, 45 and come back up. And not only the precise angle is important, the selection of hair graph is important. We try and plant rows and rows, single hair graft in the front, followed by root to go two hair, three hair, four hair in the back for bulk and volume. As you know, I'm one of the very few hair transplant surgeons in the world who specialize specifically on restoring black curly hair, whether for men and for women. Um, hair transplant, again, it's not just the surgical skill of the surgeon. It requires a lot of the artistic and aesthetic detail to ensure a very natural result. The surgical skill will dictate the density the artistic and aesthetic detail will really enhance the naturalness and um, of the hairline and frame the face better. Uh, with my work, no, not many people can detect um, you have had any surgery because we want to create the natural hairline that's according to each individual facial structure. We build it around an individual facial structure. Um, again, each person has his or her own unique hairline and we cater around that. And this client actually flew all the way from Atlanta. Actually, I have quite a bit of cl uh, client from Atlanta. Actually, last week one from one too. But not just Atlanta, from England, from Australia, from Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Spain, um, all the way from South Africa, Nigeria, Togo, let me see who else, uh, Ghana, Sierra Leone, and even East African, um, Eritrean, Eurythian, I mean, 
and Ethiopian and Somalian, Sudanese too. Anyway, um, so this is going to be 2,2500. I'm very excited. And a year later, it will look fantastic. And for more information, you can go to my website at www.mhtaclinic.com or call 1-866-999-6482. Thank you.